So I have a macro which will mem copy a string into a string struct. Before that, it will calculate the length, or uh, using the length we are passing to the macro, and it will allocate some memory with malloc. So uh, let's use it, right? So alloc append. Uh, it will take a string, and then it will take a size. It's the length of the string, but we can also only use the string and it will calculate the sterlin of hello I guess we can first error check it right Chef check if it returns null which means uh, malloc fails and then if not we will print uh, the data so wait what the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, right. So, okay. But uh, if we actually do something like this, we're passing the wrong arguments or in the wrong order. Well, we can s still actually use it incorrectly it's going to show some errors here but if we actually compile it yes there's a move it's it's gonna only show some warnings but they're just warnings and we can still actually it's a, it's actually compiled right it's uh, the binary is has been created and if we oh it actually works but it's not it didn't print anything <laughs> or actually maybe it returned let's let's not check that yeah it's like sec it's equals so again it shows the errors but it's just <laughs> a bunch of macro expansions and you who who knows what the actual error is like really come on so there is a way to fix that uh, with a static assert and uh, generic and type of so we can actually make it impossible to incorrectly use the macro here if we before uh, executing the macro we first type check the arguments or yeah we check the arguments first so this is a static assert which will count the arguments in VA args so in dot 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 here because it's a very big macro but we only really want one or two and it's gonna throw that error if it's more than three if we're passing more than uh, uh, two two actually because this helper here will add a zero and it is just some uh, thing you don't really need to worry about that here but and then this uh, assert a string will check the first argument whether it is a string and a size is another static assert which will check if the second argument if it exists if not it will check the zero right you know you, you can ignore that but if we are passing two arguments it will check the second one if it is a number because we need a number for uh, the size and so if we go back here it shows static assert failed passing non number as number argument static assert failed passing non string and string argument and if we actually try to compile it 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 doesn't actually compile it's an error it produces an error w without like uh, the flag w error because the assertion uh, failed so if we compile it we don't actually have the binary here because the compiler or the compilation failed so uh, this way if we pass anything that fails the static assertion it's not gonna even compile and it shows here in the IDE clearly what the error is and so before you even need to compile the thing it's every time you use it uh, incorrectly it's gonna 
show you the error. It is virtually impossible to actually pass the wrong arguments unless uh, there's something wrong in the macro itself or you are passing like uh, hello and then you're, you're passing like size one which which is another thing but uh, you know hopefully this helps it's uh, especially with macros since uh, you have less type safety but usually it's gonna show an error but the error is a bit uh, <laughs> because it's expanded right once we are uh, before uh, it's compiled it's expanded into this and and so that is why the error message is so long because of this instead uh, of a function which is not actually expanded if you're using a dynamic library you don't even know that what the function is the compiler won't even know before it actually fetches it at runtime so hopefully this shows you the ways in which static assert and generic can be pretty useful.